Hey guys, me, Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, the scamp man, get down home, say yeah. Anyway, it is 6.45 a.m., folks, I couldn't, I just couldn't sleep, I, God damn, I'm on fire, I'm telling anyway, uh, while I was laying there, you know, it's like anything else when you, when you get something new, and what I'm talking about for you new guys, you new viewers, uh, well, let me finish. It's 6.46 a.m., March 28, 2017. It's dark outside, probably 65 degrees. And uh, anyway, I, me, Rusty78609, ordered a 13-foot scamp travel trailer yesterday, one of the small fiberglass units. It's in uh, some little town in Minnesota, and I've got to pick it up in the end of November, which ought to be interesting. We'll see about that. And anyway, I was going to give you a heads up on uh, the paperwork. What? How do you act? How do you actually buy a scamp? You know, you just call on the phone, right? Right. Okay. I called on the phone and I talked with a salesman named Nick Swenson. So if you're going to buy you a scamp, you talk with Nick Swenson and you tell him Rusty in Texas sent you. And uh, he will not. He would probably raise the price twenty percent. I don't know. No, he won't. I don't think he'd do anything. But he's a good guy, and uh, uh, he knows all about the product, so you won't have any issues with uh, not being able to get your questions answered. But anyway, again, the total on mine with uh, the few little options I added uh, was thirteen thousand and fourteen dollars, and then uh, I gave him a credit card, Mastercard with a $500 down payment, I guess you'd call it, or deposit. So the balance due will be 12514 on November, whenever I pick, in November, whenever I pick it up. And, uh, of course, I'll just arrange financing and finance whatever I want to finance. But anyway, what they do, whenever you do the thing over the phone like I did, uh, then they will email you. Uh, it's it's going to come from a place called Evelands Inc., in Bacchus, Minnesota, they're the manufacturers of Scamp travel trailers. It's E V E. I'll show you. This is the uh, this is the sheet, and I'll try to cover that. Yeah, let me cover this, and I'll show you. Okay, but anyway, this is the they send you this right here. This is the sheet that shows all the stuff that you've ordered, and it comes up with the total price of whatever your uh, total is. And uh, that's one piece of, that's one document that they send you. And then you send them a copy of your driver's license front and back. And then you fill out what's called a Form 2000, which uh, has your driver's license number on it and your name, address, and so forth, your insurance information. And then it asks if you're taking out a loan and who you're going to finance it with. Well, I, I, I'm not sure yet, so I, and I told them that. But anyway... So you send them that, and then that's all the paperwork, and that gets it in the queue, okay? Now, the next thing that happens is a few months after you order, in other words, first of all, it takes, let's see, it'll be like April, May, June, July, August, September, October. It's going to be eight months before I actually pick the unit up, okay? Eight months. That's quite a bit of lead time with with uh, Casita, it's five months, so I'm not sure how many they have on their staff, but uh, it seems like they're quite busy, which is good because that tells me the product is in demand, and whenever a product is in demand like that, it usually means the value holds up pretty good, and I hope so. And based on what I've seen on used scamps, uh, the value holds up very much like the Casita, which is great. But somewhere along in October, uh, whenever they get ready to put your unit into production, you'll get a call from David. He's the production manager, and he's going to go down the sheet to be sure that they got everything that you wanted and that everything is ready to go before they pour the molds or whatever they do. And then that way, there's no glitches, and when you go pick it up, it's the unit that you want. And uh, that's that. But anyway, it is just so... I mean, I, it's like a whole new life. And, and they send you this. This is all about the Max fan. I got the Max fan that goes up in the ceiling. It, it's got a remote. I love that. It's got a remote so you can 
lay in your bed and adjust the uh, fan speed whether you want the wind blowing in or out and it also uh, it lifts up by itself the, the little thing on top and then it closes if it starts to rain or something and you're not there which is just super and uh, they also send you a list of all the standard and option standard and option packages you know they'll send you that so you know you've got that to look at if you might want to add some things before it goes into production but here's something else I found the the blank unit the blank unit with nothing uh, well let's see it comes with, it comes with the, the, let's see this, the basic unit comes with a with city water hookup a 1.9 cubic foot refrigerator a battery pack group 24 gravel shield screen door window over range whatever that is front or rear cabinet customer's choice and then a silverware drawer that's the basic unit and uh, and it's uh, the standard package is ten thousand one hundred ninety five dollars and then the option package I'm not sure what that is is eleven thousand ninety five dollars but when you start adding stuff like a shower and a toilet, that's thirteen hundred fifty dollars right there. And uh, you know, th then I added uh, the the fa roof fan, which is one hundred seventy five or whatever it was. And I didn't get a furnace. If you got a furnace, the furnace would be four hundred twenty dollars. Uh, I didn't get an awning. An awning is eight hundred seventy five dollars, folks. I promise you, get you a umbrella. You'll never regret it. You know. Uh, and then the, what else? Uh, a sink in the bathroom is 160 bucks. I'm not sure why you'd need that. Now, if there was two of you, that might be a thing. But for one person, just use the kitchen sink. Uh, then I got the propane gauge and an extra propane tank. And I got an extra 120 volt plug. Uh, I got the gray water tank and a black water tank and all that stuff. So you can just live in it like a regular little home and that's what it's going to be a regular little home little bitty one and last night i mean i'm telling you man i, I just can't believe this shit man oh this here's a little caveat here you know i i did a truck deal right i, I thought i'd be picking it up today let me tell you how things work out uh i mean i don't i just want the base a basic truck like i wanted a basic uh travel trailer right well people the factories don't make basic stuff. They, they want you to have all the packages, all right? So on the pickup, I just wanted to, you know, the basic single cab, short bed pickup. Cause so, you know, the long beds are nice, I guess. But, you know, the short bed, you can turn, the turning radius is somewhat shorter. And, and that's what I wanted. So I wanted a short bed, uh, regular cab, you know, with air, tilt, cruise, power windows, you know, and radio. Uh, I wanted the Bluetooth radio. Uh, I, I, what else? Not much. Uh, I think that's pretty much the equipment I, I chose. And uh, they found they didn't have any. The largest dealer in Texas, I think, is Covert in, in, in Austin, the one I called. They've got several dealerships. Well, they didn't have any. Well, anyway, they found three, like I wanted, three. And so we worked a deal on one, and he said he thought he could have it on Tuesday. And that's today. Well, he, he called me yesterday about noon and said that the one that he was working on or they were trying to trade for had been damaged in shipping to that dealership and it was in the body shop i said well put an x by that one and he did he said well, we already did and he said but then the second one uh we contacted them and that one was sold i said well we got one left he said well they haven't called back yet <laughs> you know what i mean so, but it, it, there, since there's no hurry, I'm not concerned about it. The deal's done. Deal's deal, deal. They just have to find a unit. But, you know, last night, I, I, I always keep a notepad by my bed. And that, I think that's a good idea for anybody. Uh, I, the one time I had a little recorder that I kept by the bed because I'd wake up at night and say, okay, remember this. And I, I think I thought of something during the night. But here are some things that I thought of. Uh, number one, uh, I didn't get trailer brakes because it only weighs 1,300 pounds, okay, because I didn't get the furnace and the roof air and the, the thing on the side, the awning and all that stuff, and <clears throat> so I didn't feel like I needed trailer brakes. In fact, I pulled that 19-foot travel trailer I had years ago 
Uh, well, in fact, the first travel trailer I got was a 26 foot and the trailer brakes didn't work. I hear you. I know. I got them fixed finally. Because you get out in the mountains one time without trailer brakes, you'll get them fixed. I guarantee you. But anyway, so this is a 1,300 pound unit and I'm not sure if trailer brakes are required in Texas. I got to find that out. Also, uh, I'm not sure if the, the, see my RV has to be inspected to get license plates renewed and stuff. And uh, I never have done that because I've had it parked under the shed. And I was thinking about this. I'm buying this in Minnesota. I'm just wondering if I got to have it inspected in Texas. I check on that. And then on the water heater, I don't know if it has an inside switch. See, like mine's got an inside switch and you just turn the little button and the propane, you can turn on the propane or the electric from the inside. And uh, so I'm going to check with them on that. And I'm also going to upgrade to the electric propane. Uh, right now I just have propane, uh, hot water in, in the deal. And I'm going to upgrade to the electric propane. And the reason is if I'm going to be camping at campgrounds occasionally, uh, then I can use their electricity and save my propane and offset the cost. I think it's an additional 270 bucks, pretty high, because you can buy a, a six gallon electric propane uh, water heater for my, for this RV for like 350 bucks. So when they increased it to 270, I thought that was a little little stout. And also, my RV uh, may be for sale. I mean. If anybody's interested in a 26-foot Jayco J-Flight bunkhouse model, which you can look at on the internet and see the layout uh, and see them all over the place, then uh, we can probably work a deal. I'm going to check with my oldest boy if he may want to take it. I don't know. If he does, then that would be very convenient because he could come get it the day I leave to go get old Scampy. And then it occurred to me that... Um, I got a pickup, okay, or I will have a pickup, hopefully. You know, I can put a tool, I've got a toolbox out there that I used to have in another pickup that's got some stuff in it, and I'll just use that for kind of additional storage when I'm traveling and put all my junk in the back, which won't be much. And then I'm going to get me a Bluetooth speaker, one of those little round looking things for, for sound inside, because then I can listen, because all I do during the day is I stream Pandora music. Well, I can do that using my smartphone. Don't need uh, the outside thing, the Wi-Fi anymore. And as far as watching television, I don't. I just don't. I've got. I could watch antenna TV or uh, any kind of TV I want, but I don't. So I, I don't have to worry about. It. But and and that, but what I can do, I can just watch a movie on this phone. I'm, I'm doing this video on. And then as far as solar, if I decide to add it. I'm just going to get a suitcase solar panel, 100, 100 watt, and uh, I've got one of those triple 12 volt adapters, you know, the, the, the cigarette adapter things, it's a triple, and you plug, plug one end into the cigarette lighter, and then it's got three outlets, I've got one of those in the car, I'll use it in the house, and, uh, and then I've got a, well, well, I don't care about all, but these are just things I thought of, I was laying there in bed, and I'd get up and turn the light on, write this down, get up, turn it. So anyway, guys, I'm, I'm just cooking along here. I haven't even looked at the comments this morning because I know I'm probably getting a ration of crap from a lot of people. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> you know, I just want to hear good stuff. I want to hear I want to hear reinforcement. You know, great guy. Way to go, Rusty. You, I saw one comment yesterday, you know, something about how long is it going to be before he takes it back. Well, you know, you know, if you're not doing anything, you never take anything back, right? But if you're moving and you're making changes, you're going to be taking stuff back, right? Probably, yeah? Unless you want to keep junk, that's your choice. But anyway, having said that, I'll end this video now. But if you want to contact me, and also if you contact Scamp or anybody out there decides to buy a Scamp, buy it from Nick Sorensen and tell him, tell him old Rusty in Texas sent you that he just bought him a 13-foot Scamp and he's doing videos promoting their product and and I'm pro promoting Nick, Nick Swenson. Good salesman, friendly guy, knows the product. So anyway, uh, if you want to contact me or support this channel, and believe me, baby, this thing, <laughs> the ship is loaded. I mean, got a new truck and a new RV. 
Rusty, P.O. Box 446. We'll scratch that. P.O. Box 1446. Kingsland, Texas, 78639. Keep those cards and letters coming. In fact, I got to do mail call this afternoon because I got some mail. And I'll check it again this morning and do mail call this afternoon. So having said that, guys, this is old Scampy <laughs> from Central Texas, USA. And uh, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy USA made when you can. This is me. Scamp is made in the USA 100%, all right? Good. And uh, buy USA made, take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, Why? relieve stress, makes you feel better. And uh, uh, drink plenty of water, three quarts a day, it ain't going to hurt you, stretch, walk, keep your health. Hang around here till November when I go to the frozen tundra and pick up my scamp the end of november this year and and i can't remember the name i'll tell you the name of that town the name of the town is bacchus b-a-c-k-u-s bacchus minnesota scamp and that's where i got to go and hopefully the, if, if the weather's not too bad I'll, i mean but i can always delay i'll delay it till the weather's nice i'm not going in a damn snowstorm or ice or any of that crap Okay, and if I have to pay an extra thousand to have it delivered somewhere else, I just will. That's the way life goes. So anyway, bye-bye, guys. Adios.